So if you're looking for work this new year, we have a consumer warning about what's on your Facebook page. John Matarish shows us why it could cost you that new job. But first, new minivans that can stall on the highway, John? Yes, Kristen, if you have a 2017 Chrysler minivan, check with your dealer about a major safety recall. Fiat Chrysler is recalling 160,000 of these minivans because they can stall out on the highway. 50 drivers have complained their engine quit with no warning at all. Now this involves only 2017 Chrysler Pacificas. If you have one and you've experienced this, please send me an email or a Facebook message. I'd love to hear from you. So a friend shared a post from that recent Florida lotto winner. Watch out. It's really a dangerous hoax. Well, this is the post that got so many people excited the past few days. Lottery winner Shane Mister says I'm giving $5,000 to the first 50,000 followers who retweet and like this post. Wow, but these accounts don't belong to the real winner. Some ask for your PayPal account. Guess what? In an attempt to get your money. If you're looking for a job in 2018, you're going to need to do a lot more than just spruce up your resume these days. Many potential employers will now scour your social media accounts. We have an important consumer alert for job hunters about Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. These University of Cincinnati students tell us as they prepare for the outside world, they've been learning social media 101. As Emma Wagner says, it means watch what you post. A lot of professors will tell us and remind us, keep your social media clean, you know, keep it appropriate because employers will look at that. She's got that right. A career builder survey found 70% of potential employers now use social media to screen candidates and more than half didn't hire someone because of something they saw. Today's employers know that if they really want to learn who you are, they don't need to look at your resume. They need to look at your Facebook and Instagram posts over the past couple of years. Maybe drug use, inappropriate comments, or illegal activity. There are limits on how they can use what they find. Federal law bars employers from considering race, religion, disability, or age when weighing candidates. It's against the law in some states for interviewers to ask you your password. Though some interviewers resort to something called shoulder surfing. That is when the employer will have you open up your social media account and literally stand over your shoulder checking out your page. But potential employers will be looking, so Jeanette Torres recently polished her profile. I looked through my profile pictures and I said, I don't know, I kind of took that when I was 16. I'm really not the same person. Some photos other people post of you, you can't delete them, but you can untag yourself. You can also use your page to carefully craft the image you want employers to see. And remember, your profile picture is the first thing employers will see, so make sure it's professional and leave your tongue inside your mouth. Speaking of mouth watering, hey, it's you in Wednesday. Some great January food deals for you. How about this at Papa John's? Buy one, get one free pizzas. No promo code needed. Pizza Hut, two medium pizzas, $5.99 each. And at Sonic, a free shake with a Sonic cheeseburger. Maybe because it's so cold outside, people aren't getting them. On WCPR.com, read my report on how you can trade into a new car every month of the year. I'll tell you what it costs. You don't waste your money, Kristen.